Alrighty guys, so welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna be running a couple of tests. Um, the aim of today's video is to investigate whether table resolution is actually that big of a deal when it comes to EFI tuning. Um, what I mean by that is basically ECUs would have different size tables. So it's the two dimensional table we're talking about or three D depends on how you look at it. Some of them will have an eight by eight table, 12 by 12, 16 by 16 with load being on one axis, be it in TPS or in manifold pressure and RPM. So some of them will go as the biggest I've seen is somewhere by 32 by 32, which is a lot. Um, we often get asked, um, I need more resolution, I need more resolution. But do you actually need that for, I guess, most setups? Obviously, some setups would need more than others, but today I'm going to investigate that. So what I'm going to do, first and foremost, I'm going to have a go with my car. I'm in my, well, one of my dailies, my Nissan Pulsar. It's running a Speedwino UA4C ECU. And the car is batch injection. That does not really matter, but uh, yeah. So I'm going to be, the car is quote-unquote tuned. Um, I wouldn't say 100% tuned. I didn't spend much time on the tune, but again, we're just looking for consistency. Okay, so like I said, we're going to be doing two poles. We're going to be doing one pole with my current map, wide open throttle, and we're going to look to see how close the airfield ratios are to my targets. Again, my closed loop is turned off, auto tune, everything. Any correction that could be used to alter this tune is turned off. So we're just going to be doing open loop with the map, one pole with that, and then I'm going to convert the map to something with less resolution and then we're going to compare it to see how close it is right so we're going to move ahead with that test right now Okay, so we have a log pulled up right now. So as you can see here, in the top here, we have RPM in white, TPS in red, and MAP in green. And in the bottom here, we have my Lambda target at wide open throttle in yellow, and my actual Lambda in green. So moving forward, can see here as soon as I go wide open throttle my lambda is actually lambda is about two percent off again open loop so moving up so for the most part it remains along my target here it's bang on one percent off so it's eight nine going here as a gear change after the gear change, 2% off, it's 0.88 lambda. My target is 0 0.90, or about 13.0 for you FUL ratio guys. Here, 2% off, 1% off. See, as we approach 5,000 RPM, we're about 1% off, 2% off. And it continues like that all the way till I end the pull, all the way at 5,500 RPM. So about between 1% to 2% off. So next I'm going to modify the table and then I'm going to repeat the test. Okay, so I am going to now convert my current table into a very small VE table. So with Tuner Studio, you have your load on your Y axis an RPM on the X axis. You cannot just cut down rows and columns. So here's what I do. Here's a trick I do just to convert it. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna rebin the table. So I'm just gonna make it a two by two table. So in here, I'm gonna leave 20, which is the low. And this is an NA car, so I'm just gonna put 100 here. And then I'm going to do the same here. So for idle, idle 700, and then we're just going to put a max of 6,000 RPM. And I'm going to carry 6,000 all the way here and 
stick, so 100. I'm going to carry 100 all the way up, and I'm going to pick up as soon as I get that done. So I'm going to now apply the X and the Y axis values, and this is what happens. So essentially, now we're going to be operating in this section of the map. So you can see it's a 4 by 4 table, and everything else here is just set flat. So anything above here, the on the x axis, on the y axis, sorry, the 60s and the 70 continues, and over here the 72s and the 37. So I'm going to apply that. I think I already did that. Close, and then we're going to pick up right now with a test. Okay, so now I'm going to review the Zillas data log. So again, we go over to our wide open throttle section. So I go wide open throttle right about here. And you can see right here, acceleration enrichment turns on, so it goes a bit rich. So it drops down to 0.72 lambda, which is about 11 to FUL ratio for you guys who, who are trying to convert to FUL ratio. So then it stabilizes, and we see, you can see about 3,000 RPM, we about 5% leaner, um, richer, sorry, than our target. Gonna go up, go up to about 4,000, 4,300, we about 3% leaner, about 5,000, we about 2% leaner, so between 3 and 2% leaner. Then we go to the gear change around 5,500 RPM, we about 1% richer than our target. Then after the gear change, RPMs drop down to about 3600. So we can see we are about 1% leaner than our target. As we go up, about 3900, we bang on. 4000, we're about 1% richer. 4200 RPM, we're about 3% leaner. About 4,400, we have still 3% leaner. 4,600, we have about 1% leaner. For you can see we go back down to about bang on, about 4,600. 4,800, we still bang on. 4,900, we are about 1.5% richer than our target. 5,000 RPM, we are about 1% richer. 52, still about 1%, and about 5,400 RPM, give or take, we about bang on. All right, so to wrap up this video, we can see that interpolation definitely helps. Um, we went from a 16 by 16 table, VE table, to a, essentially a 2 by 2 table. And we can see, based on the clips, wide open throttle, and uh, I believe I threw in the cruising around um, clips, you can see FL ratio does not change that much. So interpolation does help. Um, can I say conclusively that you do not need a 16 by 16 table? No. Every little bit helps, but do you need it? I don't believe so. I believe this car could probably run, again, it's just an NA car. It can probably run just fine with an eight by eight table. Add some more resolution to clean up the map a bit, and then we'll probably see less variance in the target FL ratios. And 
you might even probably get away with using the two by two table if I turned on my closed loop to compensate for any variations in the the fueling. Um, with a turbo car, I'd probably want a bit more resolution just so I can get more control over my boost fueling, um, turbo or supercharged car. Supercharged cars generally tend to behave a bit more like um, any car, so that that can suffice. Um, yes, but to wrap it up, 2x2 two two table works almost the same fuel ratio wise as a 16x16 16 16 table, so more isn't always better. Not all the time, anyways. All right, so it's gonna wrap it up. Hopefully, this one wasn't too long. Just wanted to make a quick test. Hope you guys learned something from this one. Um, guess if you like this one, so go ahead and hit that like button, um, comment, and do all of that good stuff. Subscribe, share, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Till then, stay safe.